Let A and B be sets. We're going to prove that A and B are equal if and only if their power sets are equal. So two sets are equal if and only if their power sets are equal. This should seem like a pretty intuitive result. If two sets are the same, then their subsets must be the same, and thus their power sets have to be the same. And the converse is similarly pretty intuitive as well. This is one of those pretty straightforward set theory proofs where we just have to apply a bunch of definitions in a pretty straightforward manner. So definitely give it a try yourself. It's pretty easy, so let's not waste any time. We'll begin by assuming that A equals B and we'll prove that their power sets must be equal. So we assume A equals B. Now to prove that their power sets are equal, we need to prove that the power set of A is a subset of the power set of B, and we need to prove that the power set of B is a subset of the power set of A. First, here is the proof that the power set of A is a subset of the power set of B. Like any subset proof, we begin by taking an element from the power set of A, and we want to show that this element must also belong to the power set of B. That's the goal of this subset proof. Now, if S is an element of the power set of A, by definition, that means that S is a subset of A, because remember, the power set just contains all the subsets. So S must be a subset of A, but we're assuming that A and B are equal. Thus, S is a subset of B. But then, by definition of power set, that would mean that S is an element of the power set of B. So we've shown any element of the power set of A must also be an element of the power set of B. Thus, as desired, the power set of A is a subset of the power set of B. Note that this is one of those set theory proofs where since our two sets A and B have no meaningful difference, not just because we're assuming that they're equal for this part of the proof, but just because they are both arbitrary sets, we can apply this same logic to prove that the power set of B is a subset of the power set of A to complete the first direction of this proof. And here that is written out. You can see that it's the exact same thing as what we just went over, except with the A's and B's swapped. We take an element from the power set of B, which by definition of power set is a subset of B. B and A are equal, so that means it's also a subset of A, but that would mean that it's an element of the power set of A, and so every element of the power set of B is an element of the power set of A, and so the power set of B is a subset of the power set of A. And so we have proven that the power set of A equals the power set of B, and we are done the first direction of the proof. Next, we need to prove that if the power set of A equals the power set of B, then A and B are equal. So let's go ahead and assume that the power set of A equals the power set of B. So this is our second part of the proof. We assume the power set of A equals the power set of B. We want to prove that A equals B, and of course we do this in the same sort of way. We need to show that A is a subset of B, and we need to show that B is a subset of A. And here is the proof that A is a subset of B. You can see this part is a little bit more complicated than the first part. Just as with any subset proof, we begin by taking an arbitrary element from A, and we want to show that element is also in B. Since X is an element of A, the set containing X is by definition a subset of A. But then by definition of power set, that means the set containing X is an element of the power set of A. But we assume that the power set of A equals the power set of B. So the set containing X must be an element of the power set of B. But that means by definition of power set, that the set containing X is a subset of B. And then that means, by definition of subset, that X is an element of B. So any element of A is also in B, Thus, by definition, A is a subset of B. Again, because we have not distinguished A and B in any way except by their names, we can apply this same logic to prove that B is a subset of A. And here is that proof written out. Again, it's just the A's and B's swapped. 
We take an element x from b, thus by definition, the set containing x is a subset of b. By definition of power set, the set containing x must be an element of the power set of b. But we assume the power set of b and the power set of a are equal, so the set containing x is an element of the power set of a. So by definition of power set, the set containing x is a subset of a, but by definition of subset, that means x is an element of a. So in Indeed, B is a subset of A. Every element of B is also in A. And so we have proven that indeed, if the power set of A equals the power set of B, the sets A and B must be equal. And that completes the proof. If A and B are sets, then A equals B if and only if the power set of A equals the power set of B. Put more simply, two sets are the same if and only if they have the same power sets.